The Sydney Law School has a long-standing strength and interest in research and teaching in international law going back many decades. It's reflected in the composition of our staff. We've got an awful lot of great international lawyers on faculty and we teach the Masters of International Law, uh, which is really our flagship uh, Masters of International Law uh, program. Sydney Law School has a great strength in public international law and Sydney also recognises that uh, law students and or law graduates and non-law graduates alike uh, may see the need for a specialisation in public international law depending on the role they're going to work in. Uh, they may have studied international law as part of an undergraduate law degree, they may have a background in international relations or politics or government, government studies. And students who perhaps are going to work it may be in a law firm, it may be in government, it may be in a policy area within a government department such as the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade or the Attorney General's Department or Department of the Environment. Uh, these graduates will see the relevance of a specialisation in public international law or various specialisations of public international law uh, for their work in their chosen field. To enrol in the Master of International Law was a very clear decision. I have had colleagues and friends that have studied here uh, to the university and some of them had also t undertaken the master program and so they were really positive and strongly recommended that to me and I had also read a lot of things about the university and in particular the, the Master of International Law so for me it was quite clear to enrol. Students enrolled in the Masters of International Law are able to participate in Sydney's offshore program uh, we have a number of courses that we offer on an intensive basis overseas. These include our Shanghai Winter School, where students have a, uh, a number of weeks in Shanghai with, with an introduction to Chinese law and legal systems. We also have a program in Japan, where students spend a number of weeks in Tokyo and Kyoto with an, an intensive introduction to Japanese law. We also have a Sydney Law School in Europe program, where courses are taught at uh, some of our partner universities, such as uh, Cambridge University, Humboldt University in Berlin. Uh, this year, for instance, uh, one of our professors, uh, Professor Rosemary Lister, will be teaching a climate law uh, program at the University of Cambridge over the, um, over the winter period. We also have a Southeast Asia winter school where students spend a week at a Malaysian university and then a week at an Indonesian university. Uh, we also have our, our well-known now Himalayan field school where students are able to spend a number of weeks in Nepal in conjunction with um, Kathmandu Law School uh, and also spending a, a period of time in rural Nepal in the Himalayas where they'll see firsthand uh, the challenges faced by states trying to implement human rights, in particular socio-economic rights, looking at basic issues such as food and shelter uh, and, and clothing. A Master of International Law is very much about the scope, interpretation and application of international law generally. Uh, it's uh, very much about how international law is applied today and its future. Uh, I think what students should expect from the program is to uh, participate in a lot of discussions and um, to actually think critically, something that many countries and universities don't have, where they, for example, just read the book and then you have to agree upon them, that's it. Here, you, as a student, you have to give your own thoughts and, you know, just just make your own argumentations about what you think about international law.